in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Great and Holy Monday. Glory to God for giving us the joy of reaching this day, this first day of Holy Week. And I want to tell you that this service, the service that we did tonight, in fact, should be done tomorrow morning. And in monasteries, it is done on Holy Monday in the morning. In parish churches, because people have to go to work in the morning, we do it the night before. Same thing tomorrow, same thing Tuesday evening. In fact, this is the service of Matins for Holy Monday. So what happened on that Holy Monday? According to the Gospel of Matthew that we heard, we see the Lord, accompanied by his disciples, going back to Jerusalem. And on the way to Jerusalem, the Lord was hungry, he went to a fig tree, but there were only leaves in it. It is too early for figs. <laughs> but that was an introduction to what was to come. That event, that episode with the fig tree, with the Lord going to the fig tree, finding only leaves, and telling that fig tree that it will never make fruit again, was an introduction to what was to come. Because what was next? The Lord goes to Jerusalem, goes to the temple, and he gets into a dialogue with the teachers of the law. About what? They ask him, who gave you the authority to do what you are doing? And the Lord asks them a question himself. He says, I'm going to answer you if you answer my question. And what was his question? About who? About John the Baptist. Was John's baptism from heaven or from man? Why was the Lord asking them? Why did the Lord ask them about John the Baptist? Because John the Baptist... Hmm? They rejected John's message. Because they rejected John's message. And why did they reject John's message? Yes. And what did John... What was John asking of them? To repent and to... And to... To be baptized. To repent and to be baptized. And this is why the Jews, especially the leaders of the Jews, the Lord says, you know, the prostitutes, you know, and the, 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 the sinners and the tax collectors and the prostitutes welcomed him, but you didn't. Because John was asking the Jews and the leaders of the Jews to be baptized. To repent and to be baptized. Baptism was not for Jews. They thought we are born <laughs> Jews. We don't have to be baptized because we are born in the nation of Abraham. Baptism was for Gentiles, for non-Jews who wanted to become Jews, to join the people of God. And we hear in the Gospels, John the Baptist telling the Jews, you think that you are sons of Abraham. Truly, truly, I say to you, God could make all of these stones sons of Abraham. <laughs> because it is not the fact that you belong to a nation that is going to save you. It is what you do. Do acts of repentance. Repent and be baptized because that's what's going to save you. And then the Lord gives them two parables, one about the two sons, one who was asked by his father to go into the vineyard and to, and to work, and he said, no, I'm not going to go. But then he repented and he went. And the other one who said, yes, I'll go, and he didn't go. And then, of course, the beautiful parable, the beautiful, sad and true parable of the 
workers in the vineyard and how God gave his vineyard to his people and how the people took advantage of his vineyard and when he sent prophets to take the fruit of the vineyard they killed the prophets and then he sent more prophets and they killed them and when he sent his son thinking that they are going to have respect for my son oh he's the heir let's kill him and have his inheritance everything from the fig tree to john the baptist to the two sons to the workers in the vineyard what do they have what do they have in common works it's not about who you are it's not about who you think that you are a fig tree i'm a fig tree <laughs> if you have no fruit you are not we are leaders of the people we are jews if you have no fruit you are not sons of abraham if you don't go and work and do the work of god but on the contrary, you kill the prophets and the people of God. You have no inheritance in my kingdom. The kingdom will be taken from you and given to another nation that will give its fruit in its time. Who is that nation? We talked about that nation in today's sermon in the morning. Those are... The people of all nations, tribes, and tongues. The new nation. The new Jerusalem. Those who are really believing in God. And become children of God because of their faith. Because of their real baptism. Real repentance. And because of their working together with God. What a powerful message. And you know, let us be careful ourselves. Sometimes, you know, I like to give a pause to people when they ask me, Father, were you born Orthodox? I said, no, I converted. Are you a convert? Yes, I'm a convert. I was not born Orthodox. I was born a child in my family who happened to be Orthodox, but I was not born Orthodox. I was baptized when I was, when I was about 40 days old and that was my conversion through the faith of my parents and then I had to have a personal conversion and to accept that gift that was given to me and to make it mine. I'm a convert. Nobody, none of us was born Orthodox. So many times, you know, we believe like the Jews or like, like the leaders of the Jews. We are sons of Abraham. We're born Orthodox. This message is also for us. Because that, if that's what we think and that we don't have to do the fruits of repentance, we are not going to be part of that nation, of that one holy nation. That's the nation of God. No other nation will save us. Only becoming part of the nation of Christ, the new nation. So let us be careful and watchful not to be like the fig tree who was having only leaves and thinking that it was alive, but in, that, in fact it was with no fruit and in the end it was dead. Let us be members of the new nation of God that gives its fruit in due season and rejoices with the Lord forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.